I am Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss, your personal hairline hero, and of course, the red pill pusher of hair loss. Let's get to it. I received a comment this morning uh, on one of my many hair loss videos from Nanny Many, I guess is the screen name. And this is the comment, quote, baldness is death, to which I responded, black pill response, victim mentality. To which they responded, no, it's the reality, bro. All women want chads, and chads must have hair. To which I said, which are you, incel or MGTOW? They said, I choose to be incel because I have all the incel traits. Plus, I'm invisible and laughed at by girls everywhere I go. To which I responded saying, are you mentally ill? And I didn't hear back. And of course, that's not meant as, as any kind of insult to the person. But it's where I'm at with this channel. Because we all know that I am red pill. I'm here saying you have a choice. You get to determine this. There's a list. There you can watch that video right there. There's a link. And it teaches you the 10 things that actually cause people to like you and to, to see you as attractive. You have control over that. You can focus on what you can control. Those are the things that matter anyway. But someone who is black pill, whether MGTOW or incel, is going to say they have no control, they have no hope, and to try to do anything is simply coping. So I see that as being mentally ill. So my new approach, my new strategy moving forward is as I encounter black pill uh, people on the, in the comment section, I'm just going to ask them, are you aware that you're mentally ill? Because that's exactly what it is. And I'm not here to take that lightly nor am I a doctor, and, and I can't provide any kind of help as far as a medical perspective. But we need to acknowledge this is a mental illness. You're mentally ill if you believe that no one will love you because you might go bald or are bald or any other reason. Keep in mind, about a year ago, someone left me multiple comments on a video. They weren't joking. And they said that they were too short and no woman would love them. They were five foot eight. I'm five foot nine, to put that in perspective. They went on to ask me if I could teach them to become gay so that they could be attracted to men because only men would love them. I mean, think about the lack of logic in that. For one, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm married. I've been married 12 years. I have no experience in relating to what it's like to be attracted to the, to the same gender. So just imagine that lack of logic. But then, so they're five foot eight, so, so being an inch shorter means if they only had one more inch in their height, that women would like them but that when it, one inch is all that separates them from having to be forced to be gay so that someone will love them. I mean, think about that lack of logic. And one of my uh, philosophies is never try to reason with irreasonable people. So that, that's exactly how I'm going to respond to these comments from now on. And that is to ask the person, are you aware that you're mentally ill? Because that's exactly what we're actually dealing with being bald or possibly going bald or not being tall enough or being ugly, whatever it is, that is not the issue. The issue is that they're mentally ill. And so for all the rest of you who do not identify as incel or MGTOW or black pill, you may be blue pill, which implies that you fear people won't like you because you're bald and you're focused on getting hair transplant or propitia, finding ways to stop or prevent hair loss and all this silly stuff instead of focusing on the things that actually make you attractive, in reality, you're focusing on something superficial. That's blue pill thinking. And long term, it will lead to, to you being black pill if you don't snap out of it and be red pill like me and focus on those 10 things that matter. But that's what happens. Most of you are young and immature and insecure and you don't have the life experience and confidence that I have. And, I, and that's where I'm wanting to direct you. But I'm telling you and I'm warning you, cautionary tale, if you don't snap out of it and pay attention to those 10 things and choose to be red pill like me, you will eventually, once you get beyond the age of 30, 35, you by default carry on that mentality and it equates into being black pill. Because I think black pill has a lot more to do with your age. It's one thing to be so self-centered and selfish when you're a teenager and maybe your early 20s, but as you get older, you need to start maturing and focusing on other people, which again is what those 10 things are all about. So my new strategy, my new approach, is when people try to say that they can't be loved because they're, they're bald, and then I will, you know, I remind everybody of Danny DeVito, 
four foot ten, always bald as an adult, and yet he became one of the most famous legendary actors in America since cinema. And yet an incel, a, a MGTOW, a black pill will say, yeah, but that's the halo effect, which is not true because he was already short and bald in the first time he showed up in a movie or, or a sitcom. So that's how I can test. So I, that's my new strategy in the comments. I'll be asking, are you aware that you're mentally ill? Because that's why I, I don't think that they're aware of it. And I think that's the first step is acknowledging that they are mentally ill so that they can get professional help. Again, I can't help someone who's mentally ill. But if you're young and you're blue pilled, you need to process this and think about this. If you don't change your ways, you're going to be like them. You're going to end up mentally ill over this thing. Take the red pill. How do you take the red pill? You click on the link right here. You find out the five things that determine whether you're going to go bald. You answer me. You tell me yourself if you're going to go bald. And then more importantly, you focus on the 10 things. That's the red pill. That's how you escape a life of being black pill of choosing to be an incel or a MGTOW down the line if you don't snap out of this, grow up, and stop being so self-centered. Your comments are right here.